What's good, Fanatic family? Oh, I, it's not the same. It's not the same without the beard. For those who don't know, I have to shave my beard because I'm going back to work. I've been with my family for an extended period of time, spending time with my kids and my wife, and now I have to go back to work, and my job does not permit me to have a beard. It actually doesn't permit me to have any facial hair. So, here we are. But we're gonna get through it. We're gonna do another review today. We're gonna go over a fragrance, one that is marked really high in my collection right now, and definitely something that I'm gonna be wearing in the summer. It is a citrus aquatic fragrance that I am so excited about, and I can't wait to tell you. The fragrance we're going over today is How Was For Him. This was actually a blind buy after watching Joy Amin's review on this fragrance, I bought it. I just really enjoyed his passion and how he spoke so elegantly about the fragrance. This fragrance can be described as a very masculine fragrance, something that's modern for a modern man. I do think that it can be worn year round I think it definitely sides better in the summertime. I think that you can pull this off probably in an office setting. I would just kind of stray away from putting too many sprays, maybe two uh, at max if you're gonna be maybe in a cubicle or like in an office setting, or maybe if you go to meetings a lot throughout the day, maybe two sprays might be you know a good number to stay at. Going a little past that, you know, three, four, five, six, seven, and down the road like that, it could be a little too much because um, this, the fragrance, from what I've experienced, it does stay around quite some time. You have pretty decent projection. I'm getting projection for about three and a half hours before it starts getting close to my skin, and I get a longevity about eight hours with this one. Um, I like the fragrance itself. I like the bottle right out the box. I like the shape of it, but also I like the bottle is extremely heavy. It's probably one of the heaviest bottles that I have in my collection. The cap as well is extremely heavy but I like that the cap sits firmly in place. You can actually hold up the bottle from the cap. As you can see, I put quite the dent in it. I've only had this fragrance for probably about two weeks now. You can see how much I put. I probably need to go ahead and just come in and get me a backup bottle uh, just in case I run out or get close to running out this summer. This one will be my rotation. It's Right now it's pretty high. I'm putting it as a pretty high ranking um, in my collection because it's just that good of a fragrance. It's something that, in my opinion, I stand out whenever I wear it. Whenever I am walking out, I'm confident. I know that no one probably has this fragrance except me, and that's what I really look for sometimes in certain fragrances, is I like to have something that's unique. Now, going over the atomizer, as with other fragrances, it does even distribution of the fragrance. I think it gives out just the right amount of fragrance as well. just a beautiful citrus aquatic fragrance even in just right there in the opening now let's go over some of the notes so for the top notes you got bergamot apple lemon and cinnamon followed by your mid orange blossom aquatic notes cardamom and plum and then ending with the base notes of ambergris patchouli driftwood and musk now this fragrance again in my opinion is a very masculine fragrance it's something that is unique in my opinion, and I definitely am always going to keep this in my collection. The price point isn't too bad, so you're looking at about $60 retail for 100 ml. I think that's pretty fair for the quality of the fragrance that you're getting. I, like I said, guys, I really like this one. If you have tried it, let me know what you think, what your impression is of it, because I've read all day long uh, this past week on certain days on Fragrantica about this fragrance. and the reviews are through the roof of what people are saying about it. It is an outstanding fragrance in my opinion, but I wanna know what you think. 
So put a comment below, let me know what you think. If you haven't, if you haven't tried it, then let me know you haven't tried it. And if I'm able to this week, possibly, even though it's not listed on the video, I might pick one person who puts a comment below that hasn't tried it and shoot you a sample. Thank you guys for stopping by. Thank you for checking out my channel. If you guys are new here, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, please make sure you click that bell icon so you can get the most updated current information that I'm putting out. To the loyal subscribers, hats off to you. Thank you so much for all your support. I greatly appreciate it. As always, I couldn't do this without you guys. And as always, I have some new videos coming out and I always have some new fragrances coming in. So y'all be blessed, stay safe, and keep it locked. Peace.